A toxic tragedy claims the lives of three people, their bodies found inside a dark home tonight, not far from a generator. I'm Ginger Gadsden, in for Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Deputies believe the family died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Four other relatives were hospitalized after rescuers found them in their home along Eggleston Avenue in Orlando. That's near Lee and Edgewater. New 6's Troy Campbell joins us there live tonight. And Troy, neighbors say they did not have power for two days. Well, Lisa, the home behind me, it is lit up, but the rest of the neighborhood, you're right, again, without electricity tonight, and it's inside that home where deputies say the scene unfolded tragically, saying the entire house filled with carbon monoxide. You know, we just seen these folks outside a couple days ago. Neighbors walking along Eccleston Avenue in Orlando near caution tape, saying the family was often seen outside while passing by. They seem pretty family oriented. They were always on their bikes, the kids and yeah, playing. different ages, so, you know, a bunch of different um, ages and whatnot. They were really friendly. The Orange County Sheriff's Office says just after 5 o'clock this evening, a child called into 911. When deputies responded, two people inside were already dead. A third collapsed in the front yard and later died. It does not look good. It's not look good right now. Another four people inside the home taken to the hospital. A generator inside believed to be the cause. It's probably in there right now. I do not know what state that generator is in, if it's out of gas or where it is, but apparently it was running and it was running inside the house at some point, either during the night or during the day today. Neighbors saying the tragedy serves as a reminder of the dangers that still exist several days after Irma hit Central Florida. Just when you think, you know, you made it through the storm and whatnot, it's, no. you got to be, you got to be, you know, ready, ready for anything. For anything. Yeah. You, know, you got to be cautious of any, you know, before, after, during. And the first deputy that went into the house also had to be treated on scene. And also, Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs, within the hour of deputies showing up out here, she sent out an urgent public warning as tens of thousands of people here in Central Florida continue to use a generator tonight. She is reminding you not only to keep it outside, but at least five feet from any windows or doors. Lisa? Just heartbreaking. You have to be so careful with those things. Troy Campbell reporting live tonight. Thank you.